Hey gang, this is Andy over at the Facebook Live TV show, and I am here again live in Bray, California. <laughs> Have you ever had to take a nap because the tech just got to you? Uh, I did. I just like, you got to be kidding me. I've been uh, creating videos and doing a whole bunch of stuff, and apparently I just wore my computer out. And so I turned it off, let it sleep, let it rest, let it cool down, took a nap, <laughs> and now I'm back up here to try once again. All right. I, because this is important, this especially for the Facebook Live TV show. Um, uh, Michael Moreno, I see he's starting a, a brand new, uh, I think it was a 60-day challenge for actors and actresses um, to uh, have a plan for their uh, career. I think that's great. And it all involves video. There's, I, I think I might even become an actor or an actress <laughs> because there, I think there's so much opportunity. When you turn on uh, the television, you have to decide, okay, um, uh, on Apple TV, I can uh, watch uh, uh, Facebook Live on my on my TV on my television because there's an app for Facebook Live. I can watch uh, HBO, uh, Showtime. There's apps for all those: ABC, NBC, CBS. Uh, now, do I decide to look at it on my um, Direct TV or my Cox, uh, you know, uh, cable box? Um, uh, you got Facebook Live getting into the or Facebook getting into the uh, video business, the TV and uh, and movie business. You got uh, Netflix. You have got uh, uh, Prime tele, uh, Prime uh, Amazon Prime. I knew I'd come up with it again. I just woke up from a nap. So much opportunity in video, and so video obviously is important. And so you need to know if you're going to be doing Facebook Live TV shows, uh, what it is about video that you need to be doing to get the most out of your videos. All right, so I can see that my uh, my B Live, it only blinks on my B Live. I don't know if, you, uh, if you're seeing this right now, but it's flickering over here. Uh, I may have to go take another nap if this doesn't go well. All right, I'm gonna share my, uh, I'm gonna share my screen here, but oh, actually let me go to the first one. So uh, just know that you can do some of these things and th these things are going to be helpful to you because it creates engagement on your Facebook pages. This is a, uh, a my timeline banner. You know, when, you, when, when you're on your Facebook, it just shows all kinds of extra stuff. So it's my timeline banner. It's a video now because videos have been a, 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 a possible on those banners for, uh, I would say, the last few months, maybe a little bit longer. Uh, I had not done one in a while. Michael Moreno offered to do one for me. At about that same time, I got taught how to do one. Um, I use uh, both Camtasia, ScreenFlow to create uh, these uh, timeline uh, banners. And uh, and it's a great way for people to, when they first get to your page, now it catches their attention. Go, oh, what is it this is? Oh, yeah, Andy. I didn't realize that he was a keynote speaker. I didn't realize that uh, he had, was a coach for Zero to Hero. And it it kind of catches your attention there as you are then going down and then looking at the, at the, at the uh, you know, the what's it called the timeline. Uh, and as I scroll down, you can see there I am live on my Facebook page. Um, I have a new squared uh, posting because they say that square postings or more uh, cause more engagement than just about any other um, post on Facebook. So I'm going to get down there to it. Oh, where'd it go? Mwah, did I go right past it? It is in the create. Oh, this is Facebook Live. <laughs> no, it's not even Facebook Live. Sorry, on the wrong Facebook page. I swear. Uh, well, let me. While I'm here, let me just go and show you this video. This is one where on my Create Launcher Profit got the little hole there. I'm walking up again. It's just to catch your attention. It's kind of funny. Um, again, it causes people to kind of look at that banner a little bit longer to see what's on there, and uh, it now will uh, actually uh, cause me to make some changes. Um, every so often to, to, to keep it uh, new and fresh so that it doesn't get old. Cause I don't want to see the same old video every time I go on there. Now let me scroll down. So sorry about that. I'm going to scroll down and um, there we are live. That was the simulcast, the syndication of this Facebook live on my other page there on my personal uh, celebrity page. All right, here you go. So here's the square uh, posting that you can see right here. Give me lower this thing down a little bit. Um, and this is looks really cool, right? And I put a video right inside that little computer. And uh, it looks good. And uh, it just again, playing with that earlier today, just is, uh, it's all about video. How is it you're gonna use video that's gonna cause people to stop thumbing through with their thumb? On the uh, phone, that ad automatically plays with the um, audio muted. Now I heard they're gonna not have that um, happen that it's actually the the audio is going to play. So uh, there's a, a bunch of new stuff in Facebook. I'm going to talk about some stuff in Facebook 
uh, in just a few seconds, but um, uh, there's some new stuff happening. Uh, I don't know that. I, I don't know it deeply enough to actually do a show about it, but um, there is some new stuff happening on Facebook in regard to businesses and businesses being able to communicate on a, on a, on a Facebook page. So anyway, we're going to talk about that a little bit later on. All right. So now let's go to, uh, oh, I'm going to show you the mastermind one. I forgot I had that one all queued up here. Oh, no, I don't. Hold on. Hold on. Let me get to it. It is. Ah, the masters. I'm in our private group. Oh, you're seeing behind the scenes on our retreat private group here. Sorry. The masters mastermind. All right. So we've got the timeline on here. Uh, video timeline. It'll come up here in just a second. Please don't let me cause grief on my, on my broadcast this time. All right. Here's a video again on the timeline banner again shows uh, what is the, the masters does. It's the, it has retreats. It obviously at that time that video shows up, it shows a whale that's from our Carmel retreat. It's community. And obviously here we are gathering together around the meal from one of our gourmet chefs at one of our retreat. And then, so here we are, we're having a, uh, a, a time where we have hot seats. That's a hot seat uh, program uh, right there in the room in one of our Carmel um, scenes. We are that picture that's right there, not the video is where we're sitting and we're networking and talking about, you know, what works in our business, what doesn't. Here's Everett teaching a class outside again in Carmel. I got a lot of Carmel videos. Uh, let's see the one there, the picture, I think that's in uh, Victoria, British Columbia and the picture there. Yeah. A lot of that is Carmel <laughs> and we have group calls, bi-weekly calls, but uh, that can all kind of be shown in this video. And I may edit it out a little bit later on. This was just another experiment I was doing and it seems to turn out okay. But those are some of the things that you can do with video. Now let me close some of those out so they're not dragging me down. And we're going to come down to our article now about why video um, is important. This uh, is uh, by Steve Rison or Rayson. August 23rd, 2017 on Buzz Bazumo uh, on their website page. I don't know much about them. I don't know. I'm sure that they have, uh, a, you know, maybe an interest in uh, social media and social media marketing, but this is their article analyzing a hundred million videos. So what a different year make last summer. We wrote a post on why video is key to Facebook marketing the summer. This summer, our research data shows just how overwhelmingly dominant, overwhelmingly dominant video uh, including Facebook live video has become. We analyzed 100 video, uh, million Facebook videos published in the last year and use the data we will reveal or we can reveal the topics of gain most engagement, the optimum uh, length of Facebook videos, the optimum length of Facebook live videos, the most common reaction to Facebook videos, performance of live and non-live videos, the optimal amount of text to include in your video description, the characteristics of the most engaging Facebook videos. All of this stuff is important. And uh, and really, it's not going to take you any longer to do any uh, things that, that, that have to do with this list. It's just important to do. Uh, but uh, we have to keep all this stuff in mind. Uh, if you're joining us, I see people popping in and on and off on our um, on the list here. Uh, just make sure and comment. Let me know where you're watching from, whether you're watching this live or the, or the replay. Make sure and like our post. Uh, make sure and share and subscribe so that you can get notified anytime around coming and talking about this stuff. I want to thank uh, Yael in our mastermind group who posted this in the retreat um, uh, Facebook page uh, because it was thanks to her that I saw the stats. It's so hard to keep up with everything. I get notified every day on stuff of live streaming and every so often an article gets past me. And this is one of the most important articles that I wish I would have seen uh, for myself right off the bat. So uh videos are, are facebook most uh likely to reach and engage audiences according to loco wise the average video post in april 2017 reached 12.05 percent of the total page audience uh, just ahead of photos uh, at 11.63 percent links at, were at 7.81 percent and status updates at only 4.56 percent so videos won on as far as engagement or as far as um uh reach on facebook Videos also had the highest level of engagement. So both engagement and reach. Um, that's just about uh, text. Okay. So what video topics that generate the most? And you can see here food overwhelmingly. Another that word overwhelmingly uh, for me is that food is huge. Uh, and that really is important because I'm thinking about talking to start starting a show. I actually have the URL already. I got the Facebook uh, page already set up for uh, Orange County Awesome, where I'm going to be in the man about town uh, searching for anything awesome in Orange County. Uh, and probably most often we'll be talking about restaurants and and, and bars and uh, 
you know, tastes of Orange County, tastes of Brea, tastes of whatever uh, we'll, 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 we will be at in, in doing interviews and that kind of stuff. And it's all about food. And look at that. You got it's more than the, the closest one is fashion and beauty. And that's less than half uh, the um, the views uh, for food. Um, fashion beauty being next animals and pets, which is good for me because I have the Falco Canyon Academy Facebook page, uh, the, the humor and funny game, uh, <laughs> humor and funny videos is, uh, is next. And then you've got your gaming and then everything after tech, music, sports, health, travel, politics, science, fitness, education, cars, marketing is way down here. So this video that you're watching is the lowest, the third lowest of all these here behind real estate and finance stocks. Does that mean you shouldn't do it? No. Because I just uh, posted something on the Publish and Profit uh, community where it's a private community about publishers, uh, people who publish their books, I'm sorry. And um, I have a very small niche in the expert um, category, uh, courtroom experts, and it involves dogs, which is even smaller. And I'm killing it uh, as the leading expert in that particular niche. So does it matter that, it, that if, if you're doing real estate? No, you just got to be good. Be one of the best. Right. And for sure, uh, in regard to food, you don't necessarily have to be the best to have a lot of engagement. But when you're down there in marketing and real estate and finance, doesn't mean you shouldn't do it. But if you can prove yourself to be the best, it doesn't matter which category you're in. As long as you're using video, you're going to knock it out of the park. All right. Um, Buzzfeed Tasty gets very high levels of engagement uh, below. Uh, uh, are there top four videos in the last six months? Turns out that banana bread cheesecake is considerably more engaging than real estate in Facebook videos, at least. <laughs> uh, let's see what the stats are. Okay, so I uh, got 500. Uh, this is on cheap banana bread bottom cheesecake, full recipe. Uh, 521,039 thumbs up, 139,000 comments. Um, 1.7 million, I think that shares, that icon I believe is shares. And then I don't know what the magic wand is to, somebody could tell me, if anybody's watching, can tell me, it, again, if you're watching the replay, no, if uh, if you're watching in one of the syndicated, if you know, uh, post it then I, so I can see. I forget what the uh, little magic wand is. I should, being the expert in Facebook uh, lives, I should know that, but I can't, uh, I can't remember what that, that icon is. Hmm. We're going to have to figure out what that is. All right. Looks like we're getting frozen up again here. Uh, there we go. Uh, then it comes to do-it-yourself pages like First Media Blossom also generate exceptionally high levels of engagement. Below, below are their top videos in last year. Uh, clever with your clutter and these seven organizational hacks. Uh, eight ways to transform and upgrade your wardrobe. Hmm. Hmm. And uh, brighten up your day with these five surprising hacks. Hacks seem to be um, an important thing. People love hacks, hacking stuff. All right, so now let's go uh, get down to what is the optimum length of, oh my gosh, here we go again. I wonder what it is. <laughs> I cannot figure this out. I am connected directly into my modem with an ethernet uh, cable. I am, I refresh my computer. I only have two things open on my tab. Um, wow, all right, I'm just waiting for this to. <laughs> Here we go again. This is what happened before it crashed last time. I have every, I've done everything. There's nothing else I can do. I have, I'm not using a, a broadcast software. I'm not doing anything. I've, I've cleaned my computer uh, of everything. All right, what is the optimum length of a Facebook video? We can uh, see below that analysts, uh, the an our analysts of the 100 million Facebook post um, videos, or 100,000 was it? I forgot what it was. Published last year shows that shorter videos generate more interaction on, on the average. And I think this has to do more with uh, recorded video. Uh, the sweet spot for video length is 60 to 90 seconds. So we're still now we uh, we gone back and forth because in Facebook, Facebook live videos, they want you to go for very long periods of time. So in regard to recorded video, I believe that that you're going to want to go 60 to 90 seconds. All right. And that's where you have engagement and then people get bored and move along. But there is at uh, what does it say here? Man, I'm so afraid to scroll because when I scroll, it goes bonkers. It goes up and down and actually crazy 
right now I'm frozen again. There we go. After 90 seconds, average engagement fell as the video length increased until around six minutes when engagement remained constant. It is an interesting to it is interesting to note that the very short videos of below 30 seconds generated the lowest engagement uh, uh, on average overall. I don't think so. I think that uh, people are trying to figure out whether they're going to engage and it takes about 30 seconds to do those. So I don't find that that interesting. I think that that's pretty, pretty normal. Uh, what is the optimum length of a Facebook live video? The number of Facebook live video broadcasts are growing. In April 2017, Fiji Simo, Facebook's head of video, announced that 20% of all Facebook videos are broadcast live and that the daily watch time for live videos had quadrupled in the last year. This is in part due to the priority Facebook has been giving to live video. Yes. Uh, our, analyze, uh, our analysis of Facebook live videos found that interaction between increase the longer the video lasts until about 15 to 16 minutes after this time the interactions remain fairly stable so there you go so that's what i was talking about that the, the stats that are in that graph are probably in regard to and i, I, I not probably but they are in regard to recorded video <clears throat> all right I've, I scrolled up about 10 seconds ago and it's taking this long for it to actually scroll. All right, let's, uh, I'm gonna do it again and see what happens here. <laughs> All right, I, I did it. Oh, we got a little bit of movement there. Let's do it again, right there. Come on, come on, baby. Come up for me so we can see some of these stats. But there you see, it's, it's kind of different, right? Uh, than the other graphic. I wish I could show both at the same time. But here you see how it goes up as time goes on. So uh, it, it's a very interesting thing. I don't even have the thing on the right anymore to, to drag. All right, this makes in, uh, in, this makes intuitive sense as Facebook live videos will typically be longer than other videos. For example, if you are doing a live Q&A, then a video of under say three minutes is unlikely to provide much value. Also doing a live session requires a certain minimum time to allow users to join or see the event is taking place. From the data, it would appear that Facebook Live videos should be a minimum of 15 minutes to gain maximum engagement. When we looked at the top performing 10,000 Facebook Live videos, we found they were 20 minutes longer on the average, 20 minutes long on the average. So there you go. So 20 minutes is um, uh, the average length of a good Facebook Live video that gets engagement. I can't believe how long. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and scroll up just a little bit now just to see if I can get there when uh, I begin talking about it. But anyway, Facebook Lives are uh, are, are it and doing them well is what's going to uh, obviously make a difference. Average interactions for live and non-live Facebook videos. Overall, the average engagement with Facebook and Facebook Live videos was very similar. Facebook videos, 928 average interactions. Facebook live videos, 1,043 average interactions. So they're close, but you still have more on Facebook live. This was surprising as many as, as many people are reporting much higher levels of engagement with live video. However, we should emphasize that these are average figures across a very large sample of posts. Average, yeah, okay. Uh, we also found that Facebook Live videos attract a much higher number of comments related, relative to overall interactions, around 25%, which you could not tell from this particular one. Like I said, I think I'm syndicating across so many Facebook pages that, uh, uh, you know, because uh, when I get off, I see that there are about 43 people watching live uh, pretty consistently on these videos. Uh, and um, But not a lot of people are commenting, probably because of the syndication aspect that they're into, they're they're engaging, but it's on those other Facebook pages. This makes sense as it's a live session with people asking, answering questions and responding in real time. What are the most common reactions to videos? This was kind of interesting, but uh, um, uh, sorry, I'm just watching this thing not move. Um, and so reactions, uh, laughter uh, seems to be the most. So most people doing Facebook lives somehow are funnier. Uh, uh, and so, and probably because people that do Facebook lives tend to be okay on a video and feel more comfortable. And uh, those that don't feel comfortable on video just simply aren't doing them and not doing them as often. So, um, but laughter and love are the, the top reactions of what people are responding to in regard to what's going on to the video. Uh, a little bit of wow, uh, some angry, uh, some sad, and then you got your loves and ha-has. All right. Um, let's scroll down one more time. Come on, baby. Stay with me. Come on. All right. There you go. <laughs> Can't wait to find out what those wands are. I forget what that is. 
let's see, I got likes, I got comments, I got shares. I think that's what that, that one on the, the lower left-hand corner. And the ones are maybe just um, reach. Maybe it's just reach. I don't know. So I think I could try to figure out. All right. So average reactions to Facebook live videos. Oh, it looks like, I guess like the, the recorded videos are the ones that those are all those stats. All right. So sorry about that. Facebook live videos. Love is uh, the most common and sad. So maybe they're not as, as funny on Facebook lives. <laughs> sorry about that. I gave you bad information in the start up there. Uh, it has to do with my scrolling. Unfortunately, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm a little bit, uh, it's not working fast enough so I, I can see. Uh, what's happening in this particular article. All right, how much introduction text should be used for a Facebook video? And uh, without getting down there, of course, I've read this a couple times, it's shorter, shorter text. We analyzed the top one, 10,000 most engaging Facebook videos between June 2016 and 2017, and found that uh, for these top performing videos, the introduction text was very short. The average was 84 characters, which seems like a lot to me, and the median was 61 characters. As an example, here are the top three video posts for the Red Bull Facebook page. They keep the introduction very short and just get you to dive into the video. Very short, uh, a wee day out, trucking, yeah. Do you wanna see something weird? Okay, uh, want to create great Facebook video, five takeaways. All right, here we go. I'm gonna see if I can do this right there. We, oh, now we're scrolling almost on real time. All right, uh, there are a number of observations we can make our, uh, from our analysis of the top performing 10,000 Facebook videos last year uh, and tips for what you can do to make the most of Facebook video. Keep it short. The videos are typically short with an average length of 115 seconds and a median of 65 seconds. And this is videos, Facebook videos. Uh, keep the intro crisp. The introductory text to these Facebook videos was also short. With a median of 61 characters, the post text encouraged you to just dive into the video. Uh, try, try going live. Facebook is promoting Facebook live video, and these can be longer. Think 15 to 20 minute focus sessions. Hacks, tips, and how to's. These types of video perform uh, particularly well, as do inspirational and humorous videos. So hacks, tips, and how-tos. I need a name on my video uh, uh, timeline uh, banners as a hack uh, and see what that uh, does for that particular uh, product that I'm going to be creating in Kajabi. Uh, create shareable contents. The top videos were more likely to be shared than liked. Uh, this makes videos very powerful for content marketers and publishers on Facebook. Studies show that people like to share valuable, entertaining con content, and this particularly applies to video. All right, and then do your own thing. That's an ad for this particular thing. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and put this um, link in the Facebook um, post. Go ahead and take down my, my shared screen there. Put that in here. You can click and read this article for yourself in the uh, oops it's in the other um, broadcast that I did when uh, uh, B live TV decided just to crash um, I am going to look for a solution as to why this is happening it could be just this article is being read by millions of people at this very same time but it doesn't doesn't look like it um, and try to figure out why that struggled so much now if I'm scrolling on this other page that I have up it goes really fast very strange that one goes fast so I don't know, uh, very interesting. I will figure this out. I am determined. Um, when I first got my new modem and I connected directly using the ethernet, I point because that's where the wire's going uh, and was doing Facebook lives. They were like happening like crisp, crisp, crisp. And then all of a sudden poof, took a big deep dive. I have cleared cash. I have gone through all the spam clearing uh, third party applications. I've gone through and gotten rid of some of the heavy gigabytes of video that are um, in the uh, on my computer and, and reduce some of the the load on the memory and uh so i've done all the things that i've taught i've done all the things that i've uh, searched for on the internet and i'm still bull when i i can't even scroll on a page so um but that's good that's good for you because if it's happening to you and you're getting all stressed out and you're getting all sweaty you're going oh no nothing's going right just know what happens to us all uh and that is just the way life is so uh, I hope that's helpful. Video is fantastic, even when I think that it's not going that great, because like I said, I've done this enough now to know that uh, uh, some of these videos uh, that we do here, let's see what this last one, this one, one of my last ones, 
So it has 134 views and it's 134 people are watching it that need what it is that we're talking about. And that is not horrible, right? It is not, it is not horrible at, on this particular niche type of thing that we have going on right now, right? Uh, and so it's important to understand. Um, in some of the videos, I get 400 people uh, to 600 people watching. So uh, it just, you got to understand, you got these highs and lows. It depends on the topic, depends on the time of day. That's why I experiment on, on going at these different times. Strangely enough, going late at night seems to have a lot of engagement, especially for my dog training stuff. And so it is uh, just the way it is. You're gonna have to figure out when your audience is watching, if you want them to watch live. Um, I get a lot of uh, watch in replays. And so if it doesn't matter who's watching live and it does matter who watches overall, then you can just kind of do your video, I'm, I'm guessing. But if you really want to reach people live, then you're gonna have to find when people are watching your stuff live. And that's gonna be up to you to figure out when it is that they do that. Some people watch stuff at work. Some people watch stuff at lunch. Some people watch stuff uh, when they get right home from work or they're driving home. They listen to it as they're driving. They're not watching, hopefully. Uh, and then you got your people late at night that are getting ready to go to bed. You know, let's see what's happening on Facebook. They're laying there in bed and just, you know, going through stuff. And that may be when it is they're watching some of the stuff that just is just of interest. So that's why I think the dog training stuff uh, has a really good engagement in the evening is that people are, that's when they're sitting down and trying to see what it is that, uh, you know, that they could get interested in before they go to bed. All right. So that's, uh, that's going to be up to you to find out what it is that you're looking for and when it is that you can get what it is you're looking for. All right. That is it for me. Uh, consider doing some of those uh, video uh, things that uh, in regard to your timeline banners and that kind of stuff. It's really cool. I'm going to put together a course to show people how to do that. It'll be inexpensive. It won't be very expensive. And uh, I will have that up very shortly, maybe in the next couple of days. All right. That is it. I will talk to you later. Thanks for joining. Thanks for putting up with the slow uh, scrolling of that particular article. All right. That's it. I will talk to you later. Bye.